Hello, everyone. Welcome to Wine Time. We have a very, very special episode for you guys today. But before that, Heather, talk to them. Okay, so you all know because you all follow us on social media and you all listen to the May update, but I'm going to remind you. May is Mental Health Awareness Month, okay? And in honor of that, Wine Time is selling stickers and glasses, all related to mental health, especially, and you guys know us, mental health for moms, which we take so seriously. And remember, all of the proceeds for these uh, items will be donated to NAMI, the National Alliance on Mental Health. So DM us. Email us, hit us up to get your Mental Health Awareness Month merch. I want to add to that really quickly. We had someone who had asked, can they just donate? They don't need any more glasses. They don't need them. They don't need them. And I feel you. I understand. If you want to donate as well, that is an option. So just putting that out there. Um you guys, today is our Mother's Day episode. Woo-hoo! We are here. It is exciting. And we have our moms on this episode. It's an amazing, amazing, amazing thing. As you can tell, we were obsessed with it. We hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> um, but I just want to kick it off by telling you guys, if you are a mom, if you are someone who plays that role in life, who owns that role in life, happy Mother's Day to you. It Happy is be Mother's Day. Yes. It is the best job out there. It's hard. It's rewarding. You guys mm. are amazing, badass, awesome humans. We love you guys. Happy Mother's Day from your wine time mommies. Mwah. Welcome to Wine, wine time. time. I'm Rachel. And I'm Heather. Where two moms will pour a drink, espresso, wine, cocktail, who knows? and tell you stories or complain about moms. You will get the good, inspirational, uplifting, encouraging, the badass, we all know a badass mom, and the crime, moms who have committed them and or survived them. This is Wine Time. Time. The good, the badass, and and the the crime. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our most special episode to date. Today is our first Mother's Day episode. Mother's Day! And today, we are going to be bringing you so much fun, so much love, and the most amazing guests we could ever bring on to wine time. Our Our mothers! That's crazy. I can't believe this. This is insane. Before we introduce these beautiful ladies, we wanted to take a minute to wish all of the mamas out there a very, very beautiful Mother's Day. Yes. All the moms everywhere, all of the the, the women who, who raised us, thank you and happy Mother's Day. Did I catch you, girls? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now it's time for you guys to meet our Our mothers. mothers. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so I'm going to go first. This is Heather, and I am going to introduce all of you to the very wonderful mother of mine, Teresa. Everybody say hi, Teresa. (laughs) Hi, Teresa. Thank you all. AKA Lola to Lola. La, my daughters. We call her Lola, which is which means grandmother in Tagalog. So, mom, say hi. Hi, everyone. Happy to be here on a Sunday morning. Yes. <laughs> You're the cutest. You're the cutest. This is my favorite thing ever. <laughs> Actually, this is good. Happy to have you here, Mom. I had my omelet, which your your Um, dad made, so I'm happy. Food in the tummy. That's okay. We'll get we'll get the drink into you, Mom, and you won't even need that coffee. We'll be good. (laughs) We'll be good. I'm like I would probably have both at this point. I'd be like I still need the coffee and the wine in my hand. 
Yes, we are very excited to have you. And the other mother, the other mother here is my mom. <laughs> my mom, Terry, is joining us as well. Um, if I cry Terry! every other sentence I say today, just know she's already crying. You guys will see where I get it from today, okay? Um, just be prepared for that. But mom, say hi to everyone. Hi, everyone. Happy Mother's Day. So happy to be yes. here with these two lovelies. I love you, girls. We love, we love you. Today. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. This is such an amazing experience for us to be able to bring our moms onto an episode of our mom cast, right? So, obviously, we created Wine Time with moms on our mind. That is the basis of why we are here. We wanted to create a podcast that was for the moms, by the moms, and about the moms. And now we actually get to have our moms. Our moms. (laughs) 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 This is killing me. Okay. All right. So with that said, let's get into today's episode. Everyone ready? I'm ready. Let's you know. Okay, so you know how we do it. Go ahead, Mom. I was just gonna say, I kind of in my head like knew this was coming from day one, (laughs) and still not prepared. (laughs) Yeah, buddy. Yep. Yeah, buddy. You Terry. (laughs) Go ahead. So you guys know we are going to cheers, of course. Heather and I, we cheers every episode for you guys, whether it's coffee, tea, alcohol, wine, whatever it is, right? We are going to cheers our mom in that, oh, oh my gosh, it just, oh, my heart is the happiest it's ever been ever. Okay, but our drink of choice this Mother's Day is a sangria, okay? And they're all made in our own ways. So, Mom, I'm actually going to let you start. So, please share with everyone how you made your sangria today. Okay. So, my sangria, I'm going to show you my decanter also. Pretty. I made this so lovely fancy. decanter sangria with Pinot Grigio. And then I, so I first put in oranges, pears, and apples all cut up. Mm. Yummy. Oh, and yes. then mm-hmm. I poured in the bottle of wine. This is only a bottle. Wow. I didn't even know this. I thought it would fill it. I was going to say, damn. <laughs> and, then, and then I put a shot of Grand Marnier. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. My fave. So that's what this is. Love it. Nice. 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 All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to tell you about my sangria now. Um, I have apples. And some blood oranges that are from my mother. Thank you for the blood oranges, Mom. And what I used, because I wanted a little razzle-dazzle with my sangria, I used a sparkling, and I went with a sparkling white. And this is 19 Crimes Cali Gold Snoop Diggity Snoop Dolls. Dolls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's just And dog. I have to say... <laughs> No, I, I, like I think we should go way. with Snoopy Dog. Um, and I'm very excited for this. I have been I saw this wine in the store, got super, super excited because I love the 19 Crime Snoop Red Cali Red blend. So this is a sparkling white, and I'm excited to try this. I was thinking about adding a little something something, um, but all I have is Tito's, so I wasn't sure if that would go good in it. Um, so it's just it's just this. So my sangria is is a pretty Pretty basic sangria today. Sounds good. Yeah, it is good. All right, Mom, what do you have to drink? Well, compared to you guys, mine is really, really basic. uh, (laughs) Because, as I said, I spent my time this morning, like, coloring my hair. So, therefore, (laughs) I have this, not even a wine, but a can of hard seltzer. (laughs) And I do, I I mean, the only fruits I had, I, I thought I still had some strawberry leftover, but no. So I still have some of the blood oranges or cara cara, whatever. So that's what these things are. And nice. I do have a Grand Marnier, man. I, I probably could have, but next time or later. I don't know. But that's all I have. Later. <laughs> 
after a few questions, you might want to put that shot in there. So we'll see if you get up to go get a shot or not. (laughs) Ask IT to bring it in. I know, right? Yes. (laughs) IT, stay on standby, please. Oh, you guys, so far, I think we're going to have to invite you guys back another time. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, Do you like how she went like this, too? I do. I wanted to comment, Mom, when you were holding up your decanter, which some people won't be able to see, but I will post a picture of your decanter, um, and you said a whole bottle of wine is there. You know, it makes me feel less bad about how many bottles of wine I drink. I gotta say. <laughs> Because that didn't look she like get that. She get it from her mama. Get it from her mama. I don't think she'll drink that whole thing. <laughs> nope. Um, so for me today, I Aww. have a, this, Aww. actually, I'll talk about this yeah. cup later, but, um, says mama, you matter. Um, so I have 19 crimes as well, Heather, oh, because nice. <laughs> 19 crimes is my, is my boo. Um, I have the Cab Sauv, and I went with the more kind of, like, berry-based um, because, you know, my kid just eats berries all day, every day. So that's what I was working with. I have some strawberry, raspberry, and blackberry mm-hmm. in here. Um, I don't have anything else added. I do have a brandy out there, and I saw some people talk about adding brandy inside mm-hmm. of it. But I also have things to do later. So I have to be a responsible adult and only drink the wine and fruit for balance. So that's what's okay. in the cup. Um, yeah. So let's cheers to Mother's Day to us all being moms and loving you guys and you guys loving us. And we're going to get into this. Aww. So let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Don't start crying already. Please stop. Cheers. Oh, my God. Stop. <laughs> Cheers. Yes. Mm. Oh, was I supposed to drink? I, was just I mean, when you cheers, you drink. I just want to point that out. <laughs> this is episode like 50. Ooh, that's good. I love it. I love it. I love it. You love it. Oh, my gosh. I'm the only one not drinking. That's with perfect. <laughs> it is that is so cute. So good. All right. I love that. My mm. wine is delicious. I am excited to drink it. Um, with that said, the next thing we do here is complain, right? So before we start our interviews with our moms, I think it's important to bring our wines, right? Uh, Moms, I hope you guys are ready for this because it's wine time and the whining is about to go down. So Heather, (laughs) kick it off. What is it that you are going to whine about for us today? So here's my wine, which... Is very fitting um, for Mother's Day. Uh, okay, so yesterday I was solo momming it. Zach was at work, and it's a very bittersweet wine because, on one hand, I love that my daughters are now at an age where they're actually like playing together, right? I have a three and a half year old and a 15 month year, 15 month year old, 15 month old. And they are now, you know, the 15-month-old, she is now at a point where she she can interact and play. And so, you know, some of it is very cute and wonderful. And, like, they'll play, like, hide-and-seek <laughs> with each other and peekaboo. And it, it it's everything my mom heart, you know, can handle. And then, <laughs> and then they start playing. And, for instance... The 15-month-old wants something the three-year-old has, and she starts snatching it, and then the three-year-old starts whining like, Mom! And then when she tries to snatch it back, my 15-month-old has decided that her way to indicate that she's mad about something is to bite. (laughs) So she has started when Evie is trying to grab something from Tempe, Tempe will grab the hand and just chomp down on her sister. Like yesterday, she straight up left bite marks on her hand. And I understand she's 15 months old. There's not a lot. Like, we can only do so much at this age, right? She doesn't really super understand. Like, we can say, like, no, like, that's not okay. But so it's hard because as much as I do enjoy them playing together, when it gets to the point where they're, like, fighting, 
I already can't stand the <laughs> mom. And I'm like, oh, here we go. And so now I'm just so scared for when they get a little older and God forbid, teenager <laughs> fighting. And I'm just like, I'm scared. So my wine is actually a bittersweet and scared wine. <laughs> but all the other moms out there, if you have any advice for me on how to handle the siblingness, <laughs> especially between two girls, because I don't know what that is or I did not grow up with that. So any help could be appreciated with that. Thank you. <laughs> that is my wine. <laughs> You'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> this is my mom's advice for everything. Yeah. You'll be all right. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Well, then if I'll be all right, that sounds good. So, Mom, then what is what is your wine for the okay. day? <clears throat> well, I think I've mentioned it a couple of times already, but it's like <clears throat> I shouldn't really wine today, but it's like I've been needing to color my hair. Uh, so, I mean, it's like I actually had, you know, good sleep last night. Probably because I um I actually had um massage yesterday, so they got Ooh, yeah, get it, girl. Yeah, and, uh, nice, it's nice because I'm not feeling the achiness in my back as much. Uh, so yeah, I I slept in till about well, I was awake about seven fifteen because I heard my husband tinkering in the uh, kitchen. So that's like ooh, might be breakfast time. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, uh, and then um, after that, I was like, oh, man, you know, I still need to color my hair. And, of course, after kind of cleaning the kitchen a little bit after breakfast, I was like, oh, my God, it's a little bit after nine. I got to go, 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 go. So, um, anyway, that's really all my, <laughs> my wine for today. <laughs> but I'm still grateful and thankful that, you know, part of – aging process but still upright right can still walk and, yes and, yes. and brain is y'all i still have working i have just been telling my mom to rock the gray uh-uh. i keep not telling yet. her <laughs> i do rock she's like absolutely I was not say i do rock the gray really for the most part until it's time to color again because otherwise it's like if i if I don't actually, I mean, I need to color, it seemed like every two weeks. And that's just oh. not happening. I know. Yeah. It's like, mm-mm. so in those days until I wait to color, then that's rocking the gray. <laughs> yes. But I'm not going to go totally natural until maybe I'm 60. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's all Rocky. I have for today. <laughs> Love it. That's cute. Mom, you got a wine for us? You want to tell us a wine for... Yeah, I have a wine. And it's it's, it's something for you girls to think about for the future. (laughs) Oh, no. But I'm just... I have no energy. And Rachel Mm. might be going through this now, but my thyroid just... Mm. I have no energy Mm. at all. I'm trying to... Like, right now, I have a... um, a jar of local honey with some mm. turmeric, some ginger, and some vanilla in it. Mm. And I'm trying to take that every day to get the turmeric because I hate that flavor. Yeah. You two <laughs> mm. By itself is mm. <laughs> adorable. Um, but I just, I find when I wake up in the morning, my my mind wakes up, but my body doesn't want to get up. <laughs> I just Mm. lay there and it's just, you know, I don't, doctors don't know what to do. They tell me to eat less sugar, that it's inflammation. Yeah. So I'm just tired of being tired and low energy and that kind of stuff. And it's, it's hard getting older (laughs) and depending who you are. I mean, if you have good genes, you've got great genes. Yeah. (laughs) Sorry, honey. (laughs) I'm like, I know what my wine is now. Let me tell you. (laughs) 
So anyway, uh, cheers to cheers to being well. Cheers to your <laughs> local honey and turmeric. Yes. May it may it work for you. you. They also make turmeric tea, I think. So maybe try that. Maybe you can handle that tea. Will do. Mm-hmm. That's my so, wine. Uh, yeah, I'm like about <laughs> your wine. I have to. I have to also. You know to counter your wine and say I know that you're feeling that and I know that you're experiencing that but you show up every day and it's awesome because you do a lot for everyone and that's another thing on top of your thyroid on top of everything else that you literally like serve everyone around you so it's more than don't just cry that. Terry stop, stop it stop, stop it, it. I'm, good. Um, I'm good thanks, okay. thanks for that so, <laughs> you're welcome my wine I guess I mean I have another wine, but first of all, I guess my jeans. <laughs> the other wine would be that my jeans don't fit. So jeans in all the, the ways. Um, jeans and jeans. Right. Jeans on jeans, man. Snoopy Dog needs to come up with a jeans on jeans song right now. <laughs> That's why um, stretchy jeans is my, my go to. Stretchy jeans. I love that. Jeggings. Um, yes. yes. Jegging world. So my wine today is just the fact that I feel it's very unfortunate, but I feel like I'm so irritable and I get upset so easily. And that's my wine because I could come on here every day. I told Heather the other day, we need to come up with like a mini segment of just, it's like a 10 minute thing where we just come and complain because I always have something to complain about. And it's, it's unfortunate because I, I wish that I could train my brain better to look at the positive and see the positive. And I feel like I do, but when something happens, I am so mad so fast. And I got to figure out how to do better in that area because it's not good. It's not a good can thing. Can I say? Yeah. So can. can I say, we talked about, we touched on this subject when we were talking about postpartum because I was sharing that the most recent thing that I was dealing with was they were like, you sound, and this was, so this was after I had Tempe. So after I had my second baby and I was right near the tail end of breastfeeding. So my hormones are like on a whole other level. They told me to go. And I told them, I was like, I'm irritable all the time. I go from zero to 60 mad like that. And it's so frustrating. And I don't want to feel that way. And you know what they told me? One thing they said, go get your thyroid checked yeah, because your thyroid is is going with the hormones and those hormones are impacting your irritability. So Rachel, they are very, I mean, you might need to be doing what your mom's doing and start drinking that local honey and turmeric girl, because that is, that could be a definite possibility. That could be a definite possibility. Well, I have. So just so you know, I don't know if I told you this, but I told my mom this the other day, my chiropractor prescribed, I, I was given a thing to go get blood tested for my thyroid and my hormones together. They gave me a referral to go get that blood work done because good. Both of those things are high on that list. So, you yep. know, we're over here. Yep. We're, gonna, we're gonna take care of it. We are gonna We're take all care thriving. Of it. <laughs> May our thyroids, you yes. know what? Cheers to healthy cheers thyroids. To healthy because we need we all need yep. that right now. Yes. yes. Cheers to that. <laughs> So now that we got through our cheers and our wine and we get to talk a little bit more um, about how much we love all of us, um, I think there's no better time than to bring up the fact that we asked all of our listeners to send in special tributes to that amazing mom or moms in your lives. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, We asked you guys to send in your special shout outs and that you did. So here is our tribute to some amazing women out there who deserve some extra love today.
My Mother's Day shout out is to my mom village. These women I can be so real with, confide in, seek advice from, and have zero of judgment. The support of these women has been amazing. Every time I have felt like a failure, I can count on them to remind me that momming ain't easy. Most of the time, we are experiencing the same things with our kids and we work through it together. These few women I know I can text, call, cry to, vent to, laugh with, grab a drink with, invite over in my pajamas, and have a drink at my house that's not perfectly clean, then complain about how my kids are assholes. (laughs) And no, they never pass judgment. Their friendships mean the world to me at this stage in my life. Beautiful. That's from Ashley Filippelli, OG listener. Yes, I love, love that Mm -hmm. so much. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Next one. Here we go. This one is an audio for you guys. Hi, this is Amanda from Dating Will Be the Death of Me, a podcast all about dating and the ups and downs of relationships and all that good stuff. I just wanted to wish a happy Mother's Day to all those mothers out there and mother figures, anyone who's celebrating on this Mother's Day. And I want to send a special shout out to my mom who is the inspiration for everything that I do. And I've been lucky enough to have her come on my podcast and share her experiences with love and marriage and her awesome relationship with my dad. So happy Mother's Day to you, Mom. I love you. And I hope every mother celebrating out there has the best day ever. Bye. I might cry. That's so sweet. I'm like looking at Heather right now and just her face is so cute. Thank you, Amanda, for setting, sending that in. Um, yes, she is over at Dating Will Be the Death of Me. You guys check her out. Um, she's amazing. And just stay tuned because she's going to be coming on the podcast. Spoiler alert. Okay. So next I would like to say, whoa, that's actually how her started, but I was just going to say the next one. <laughs> All right. Here's the next one. I'd like to say happy Mother's Day to my mom, Morgan. She's working and taking care of my kiddos while I am out of town this week. That is from Katie, (laughs) my friend Katie in Tahoe. I think that's amazing because we need that. We need Mm. that. They are here for us when we need them. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yes. So important. Thank you, moms. My mom is the same. Yes. I was like, my mom is the same when she's around until Mm. I moved out of state. So here we are. <laughs> Terry's got to move. Terry's got to move. No, come on, mom. Okay, our next one. In the words of Megan Trainer, you might have a mom, she might be the bomb, but no one's got a mom like mine. Must okay, let me, dancing. <laughs> let me do it for you. You <laughs> might have a mom, she might be the bomb, but ain't nobody got a mom like mine. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't, I forgot the little parentheses part where she goes, must sing and dancing helps. You're killing me, you're so funny. Okay, happy Mother's Day to all the badass moms out there. I see you, but to one particularly special mama, I want to say thank you. Thank you for always being there, for always having coffee, and for pushing me to be the best version of myself every day. I love you most and further than the moon. Happy Mother's Day, and that is from Michelle from Sips of Crime, another podcast that you guys definitely need to go check out if you haven't already. Michelle, I'm trying not to cry, so will you stop that? I just literally got goosebumps reading that. That was the sweetest thing. When I read that, when she sent that in and I saw I Love You and Further Than the Moon, I did. I started bawling because, I mean... Any of it is so loving and and just amazing, right? But yeah. that I've never heard. I yeah. have never heard further than the moon. And I'm just like, you know, the moon and the stars and the this and that, further yeah. than the galaxy. And I'm over here like further than the moon. And I'm just over here like, oh, they have a special bond and I love I'm them dying. so that much. Was so sweet. I literally have. It was so cute. So cute. All righty. Next one. Or I should say, next few. So these are from my mom. She sent a few in. So I am going to read some of them. And then I am also going to play an audio from my mom. 
she wants to give a shout out to four special moms in her life. Firstly, <clears throat> my own mother in heaven who was flawless. She birthed and raised seven children. My mom was very loving, smart, a great cook, kind, generous, and caring. She taught us to live by the golden rule. Matthew chapter 12, verse 7. Do unto others as you'd have done unto you. It means so much and covers everything. Oh, love it. Her second shout out is a shout out to my mother-in-law, Mickey, who recently went to heaven, who treated me like a daughter from day one. She too was very generous and kind and loving. She showered her family with fun and creative ways of living, truly an inspiration, no life to copy. Mm. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to play an audio for you guys right here, and then I will cry for a little bit, and then I'll be back. (laughs) (laughs) I was going to say, are you going to be able to get through these? (laughs) Yeah, I'm going to do my best. (laughs) All right, here we go. Here is my mom's shout out to me. Next, a shout out to my daughter, Rachel. I feel like a special mom when I'm around her. She lifts me up pretty much without even knowing it, adding in little fun pet names and sweet compliments. As you all know, she loves to talk. (laughs) Every day, at some point or another, usually while I was making dinner, I would get to hear about everything. About an activity, or a teacher, or a boy, or a friend. She needed me, and that filled my cup. She needed me to braid her hair, to listen, to rub her aching legs, to make her breakfast burritos before soccer games, and to understand her anxiety. All of those things made me mom, and I loved being there for her for all of those things and more. Then she became a mother to Kenzie Ryder. Her pregnancy wasn't easy for her. She was an amazing new mother, nursing and making breast milk as long as she could, making her own baby food. I'm proud of how strong and determined she is to give Kenzie the best life she can. She's an adventurer at heart, creating and recreating her role as mother, as needed to raise Kenzie and show her the exciting, adventurous, silly, and important things in life. It's her turn to listen to her, to rub her legs, to make her a breakfast burrito before soccer. And I love being her mother and just watching her become who she is now. It's like watching a flower bloom in slow motion. And finally. Ah! (laughs) Oh my God. You know what? You know what that literally made me think of? So, um, what, um, which holiday is it where your mom always used to cook chili? Halloween. Halloween. Okay, so what? I don't know why it made me think when she was like, she gets to make Kenzie breakfast burritos because you were trying to make chili. What's <laughs> 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 the canned chili? And you called your mom, and your mom was like, Rachel, please, please no. <laughs> She's like, is that Hormel? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love man. It. All oh, right. God. My mom has one more shout out that we will share with you guys now. <clears throat> and finally, a shout out to my daughter-in-law, Laura, who is thoughtful and generous and gives me hugs and I love yous and compliments me on her husband. She became a mother to Jaden Michael during the pandemic. She, too, is an amazing new mother who bottle-fed and made her own baby food and still preps healthy food for him. She's a patient and calm mama. And then she wrote, I'm a blessed daughter and mother. Yes, you are, my mama. Oh, man. We love you, Terry. Love you, Mom. Hey guys, this is Rihanna Jimenez. I'm just giving a shout out to Terry and Bell. My mother wanted to say happy Mother's Day. I know you're not doing too good and you're pretty sick, but I just want to say I love you and I thank you for this life that you've given me. And I also want to give a shout out to Jasmine Duro, my sister from another mother. Um, I want to say happy Mother's Day to you. I know that you don't have one but you do have my three and you are just as much their mother 
that I am. And I thank you for every day that you're with me. And I thank you for everything that you've been through with me. And I love you. And a happy Mother's Day to you as well. And happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. And the mothers to be and the mothers want to be. Because you all are all mothers to me. Love you guys. I also give a shout out to Rachel and Heather who do this podcast for everyone even though they have little ones of their own and I know I know it's very very hard and you guys are grinding happy mother's day thank you Rihanna for sending those in you are so sweet we love you so much and happy mother's day to you too baby girl now I am going to play the last shout out for you another audio clip And you guys are going to enjoy this one. Momming is hard work. And why are we only celebrated one day a year? Anyway, shout out to all the mothers out there, whether you're a bio mom, an adoptive mom, a bonus mom, or a mom-to-be. We see you doing the most and being the best you can be day in and day out. Here's a little pro tip. Anytime you catch those kids doing some dumbass shit, remind yourself that they get it from their father. Mother's Day. Follow me for more mom tips, Nicole. (laughs) That's so great. So that is from Nicole. She is one of the hosts on the Spiritual Sisters podcast, and she's funny. She she also has a page that you can follow where she does like reels and funny stuff. I swear. You guys got to go check them out. Um, Those are our mom shout outs, you guys. Thank you for sending those in. We want to give another huge happy Mother's Day from us to all of the moms. And even though I feel that you amazing, badass, hardworking, incredible mamas should be showered every single day with love and support and appreciation, I hope this Mother's Day is extra special for you all. Yes, definitely. We have had so many amazing moms on our podcast, listening to our podcast, supporting us, and we have so many amazing moms planned to be on the podcast, and everyone deserves to have an amazing Mother's Day. Back to our mama. Mom! All right, so before we get into the questions we are going to be asking you guys, I, seven minutes ago, was like, Heather, uh, this is who I am as a person. We got to play a game. Like, I cannot go through a day without having to play a game. (laughs) So what we thought would be funny is uh, Heather and I are going to go back and forth and ask each other questions about you guys. Uh (laughs) They're pretty basic. They're things that maybe... You know, we should know. Maybe we it's like newlyweds, know. except mom edition. Oh, okay. <laughs> mom, mom, your mom newly mom. It's like how well you know your Ed's. moms. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're gonna see how good we are at this. Heather, you have that on your phone, and we'll just take turns. Um, okay. We're gonna skip the first two because we're you know we don't need to go into yeah this we don't first need to get two. into that we're not doing All that right. part. All right. So, Heather, I have a question yes. for you about your mom. Okay. What is your mom's favorite color? Purple. Purple? You guys have the same favorite color? Oh, we do have the same so favorite cute. color. And, you know, I'm going to tell you something. I don't know if I ever actually knew that, except about a year ago, Evie was in this fav- phase where she asked everyone what their favorite color is. So that's the only reason I know my mom's favorite color is because my daughter asked her. What? I thought you've always well, the way known. That... I guess not. <laughs> nope. Sorry, okay. Mom. <laughs> that is really funny. Okay. So am I just going to ask you the next one? Yeah. Okay. So, Rachel, yeah. this is actually a tough one. I don't know if I can answer this. What is your mom's favorite book? Oh, geez. Favorite book? Ah. Terry's like, I don't even know if I have a... <laughs> The Bible. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. The answer. 
That's so the first the thing that came to my mind. Oh, nice. I'm like, the Bible is her favorite book. And then second, I would say, I don't know, she reads like things by like, God, I don't even know their names. Nick. Jody Pickle, Nicholas Sparks. Yes. I don't know how you say their names. Um, she said Jody Pickle, Nicholas. <laughs> Jody Pickle. Oh, Pickle. Oh, and then Nicholas Sparks. Oh, good job, Rachel. You were like happy yeah. about that. Nice. I did my best. So Good job. Good job. I think I win. I think Bible that was is the good. answer. <laughs> okay, Heather. What is your mom's favorite TV show? <gasps> My mom watches so much TV. Um, well, okay, okay. Let me rephrase that. She doesn't Truth. like sit there and watch TV all day. But whenever she is watching something, it's something new, and I always have to be like, "What the hell are you watching?" Because she'll just find things and she'll just go, "Oh, let's watch this." And I. I don't know. So, okay, let me think. Um, like, all-time favorite TV show. Okay, two are coming to my head that I know my mom watched a lot. One when I was, like, well, both when kind of I was growing up. So I'm going to say two. Okay. And mom, hopefully one of these is right. <laughs> 90210, like the 90s version, 90210, <laughs> and Charmed. Yes! <laughs> yes! <Yeah! laughs> Uh, at least she knows well enough that I don't, those are my shows that I don't watch any reality shows for sure. No, she doesn't <laughs> watch reality. Thing, she leaves that yeah, to me. Exactly. That's my <laughs> mom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. That's my mom's too, which I don't watch shows whatsoever. I remember Heather and I were just talking about it with one someone we recorded with Liam and they were talking about doing like a spinoff of like with reality shows like as a spinoff <laughs> podcast and I was like can't be a part of that one because I know nothing about it <laughs> we were like making Kardashian jokes and Rachel's like you guys I know. <laughs> I know they all started with a K like it didn't even click to me so so funny oh, so funny. funny yeah that was funny. all right okay. Rachel yeah what is Terry's favorite dessert God, i don't know um okay, it's really know. funny because i want to say chips and salsa but it's not a dessert <laughs> <laughs> well that works yeah, that, that makes sense <laughs> i'm trying to think of like dessert and i i feel like i should know but i don't and that makes me kind of sad, to be honest. Um, I'm going to say her favorite dessert is wine. <laughs> <sighs> I'm, like, trying to think of, like, something that is made that's, like, it's. I'm not thinking, like, ice cream. Like, I know I could go get some kind of, like, ice cream with nuts on it, you know? Like, I could order her something. But it's, I don't, I don't know. Can you answer it, Mom, since She's I don't kidding. know? What's your favorite Of course. Dessert? What is it? <laughs> Anything <laughs> apple, anything hot apple. Oh, okay. Oh, apple pie, so like apple pie, apple, anything. Mm. Apple skewers from solving. Ah. Ooh, They're not yeah. apple. <laughs> Never had that. Okay. Ras- they have raspberry sauce, and I love raspberry. Mm. Chocolate mm-hmm. and raspberry, but apple, anything, any apple dessert is my favorite. Nice. All right. Well, I, I like just that. want to point out, I would not have said that at all. <laughs> yeah. So, are you taking notes? Here we go. <laughs> I think it happened yeah. later in my life. Uh huh. So mm. that's fair. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, Heather. What okay. is your mom's favorite restaurant? <laughs> There's so many. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Can I just do like a, I'm going to, instead of doing, okay, so this is a thing. Yeah. My mom has moved around a lot in her life, right? right? Is, like, yeah. what is the longest you've ever spent in one place, not counting your childhood? Like, you've been maybe six years. This is probably mm-hmm. like the longest you've spent ever yeah. in one house. So with that being said, because it's hard to narrow down a restaurant, a single one, because gotcha. of the moves, yeah. I'm going to say what mm-hmm. type of restaurant is her favorite. I agree I'm going to say that. Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, when I come next, we're all going to Mexican because uh, yes, yes please. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's right. It'll be um, August seventh or eleventh. I'll be there. We'll Woo-hoo! make a plan. Um, plan. Me. Oh. Surprise, mom. Coming <laughs> in August. <laughs> Not surprise anymore. Oh. <laughs> Not. Surprise. All right. Let's see. 
Rachel. Yeah. Oh, this is a hard one. What is your mom's favorite perfume? Jeez. She's getting the hard ones. I don't know. <laughs> I know. I know she is. That's a hard one. Right now in her bathroom, I believe she has a Shania Twain perfume in there. If Am I right, Mom? Do you have one? I don't think it's her favorite. Not but... anymore. It was, Okay, so damn. I, I haven't been home in a while. No, I'm just That's kidding. better than me, though. Um, I wouldn't even be able to say what perfume has ever even been in my mom's. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to say. I wouldn't be able to tell you what perfume yeah, has I did, ever used. I didn't have that once. I don't know your favorite mom i don't have i don't have one i don't i don't wear it i they were given to me only i've the only perfume Mm. i used to wear when i was in high school was jovan musk Mm -hmm. and i I remember that (laughs) yeah yeah i don't wear anything anymore because of it just makes me um the allergies yeah i can't Mm. i can't put it on Mm -hmm. my body Sometimes if I want, if I'm going somewhere nice, I might spray it behind me. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I get it yeah. in my hair or something. I don't know. But I can't have it. That's actually smart. Yeah. So okay. I don't well, have one and that's okay. I'm glad. I, I don't feel too bad about yeah, that answer no. then because I was like, I don't, I don't freaking know, I don't man. wear it. I don't know, man. All right. That's my perfume. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. That's all you need. That's all you need. That's the most important and part. This, and whatever this excretes. <laughs> excretes from my body. <laughs> Cheers to that. All right. A couple more, and then we will get on to our questions. Maybe I will Heather. this. Okay. Heather. <laughs> what? Listening. You go, Terry. I'm going to go down on here, okay? okay? What is your mom's favorite holiday? That's what she said. <laughs> Holiday, holiday. I'm gonna say my mom really likes Christmas, but here's why because she gets really into so, like, when I was growing up, snowmen everywhere was snowmen. Christmas, there was 50 different snowmen. So I think it's not just like, oh, I mean, Christmas obviously is a wonderful time of year, but I think my mom particularly likes decorating. And so when I was younger, snowmen everywhere, snowman. And now it's gnomes. Right, Everywhere yeah. is Christmas gnomes. <laughs> Love it. And so my mom is super into it. And she's now, I don't know if this is fortunately or unfortunately, has started passing gnomes down. And so now every year, Evie's like, look at the gnome Lola got me. And now we have a whole collection of gnomes. Oh, so yeah. I will say yes, Christmas, yeah. especially for the decorating. Yeah, part, the decorations. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, Heather, ask me one more. All and right, one on. more question. Ooh, this is a good one. What is your mom's favorite place to shop? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. Ah, uh, not Walmart. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> She likes, I mean, if she's staying local, she's going to like, like a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx type. That's what I was going to say for my mom, too. That's what I would say. Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Ross. Yep. Exactly. I was like, and then if if we go anywhere, like, further, it's just the little, like, kind of cutesy antique Mm -hmm. stores that have stuff that other stores don't have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm with you, Terry. (laughs) Love those stores. (laughs) They're awesome. Yep. Oh, good. And you know, I heard All from, right. um, I went, I had my dental appointment the other day and the lady, the receptionist has just started saying that Bed Bath & Beyond are closing now. I just, I was <gasps> like, yeah, I haven't heard it. I'm like, no, that's one of my favorite stores. No way. Yeah, but you yeah, know what? Closing. They'll probably have like really good sales whenever their stores are clothing, mm-hmm. closing. Well, yeah, so um, gotta get on that. Well, since I did not, I haven't heard about that, and she said that I guess they stopped accepting, you know, the coupons the, or the, the co- thing. <gasps> like last Tuesday, I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> so yeah. Then oh, what's no. the point of even going if I well, can't use exactly. my twenty percent off? But uh, oh, I need to go. I think I still have a gift card for Bed Bath and Beyond. Uh, I didn't yeah. go use it. And uh, but then she's saying that I guess the Container Store is going to um, uh, it. 
will accept um, the the Bed Bath and Beyond mm. coupons. I don't know for how long, but they should. They're outrageously expensive. Oh, really? Mm. Uh, then they're so expensive. It's stupid. I was gonna say I've never been mm. to one. Maybe that's why. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they're, they're not close there's one in camarillo they're not close yeah i was gonna say mm. it's not you don't see them that often just like yeah. marshall's dj mm-hmm. max or like an ikea Beyond. yeah mm. that's maybe why because i don't even know if there's one around here but <laughs> filling up feel her up in a little right. more I would say we both did really well on mom trivia, Rachel. I think we both did a good job. Yeah. Pat on the back for us. Good job, Ray. Woo-woo. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. So now we are going to get into some questions, okay? Um, this is exciting for me because I just want to I want to pick your guys' brains. I want to hear about it. <laughs> and um it's nice to actually be able to kind of like sit back and hear you guys answer and I don't got to do much work today. So um, this is beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Um, we are going to take a break in between some questions, probably play another game because I just, I don't know, you know, I'm already feeling emotional. So we're just going to see how it goes. Um, but Heather, do you want do you want me to go first? Do you want to go first? So you go first. Let me say, you're both going to answer these questions um, to the best of your ability. I know that it's like, bam, here's a question. Answer it right now, uh, and we'll see how that goes. But I want you guys both to have the opportunity to answer. So once that is done, like once we get both of your answers, we will move on to the next one. It's not one or the other answer it type thing. If that makes okay. sense. Um, I'll just read it. So the <coughs> first question, you guys wait, hold on. I have to say it even more. Everyone who's listening. These are our moms. Dude. <laughs> like, oh my God. Okay. All right. This is the, the easiest question you're going to get. Think back to just a few years ago. <laughs> When you guys were just... Li- My mom has a notepad. <laughs> oh, God. Think back to a few years ago. Don't feel bad. And let us know. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Oh, my God, you hey, guys. at this point, Those... we need a little bit of a memory jogger. You know what? <laughs> 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 This is amazing because I can assure you both of your notes are longer than our script for today's episode. Like, <laughs> that's great. Okay, I want to hear about your guys' pregnancies with your baby girls. I want to hear how it was, how you felt, you know, experiences, that kind of thing. So, Teresa, go ahead. You can uh, jump the gun on this All one right. and tell us about how it was being pregnant with my beautiful Bessie Heather. All right. Well, let me see. Um, Heather is my second baby, right? So my uh, my first child is uh, my son, Brian, who I gained 45 pounds, by the way, from my whatever, 100 soaking wet you know, pounds. Uh, of course, I'm only five feet, so there you go. Wow. Um, you're right. <laughs> so two years later, when I got pregnant with Heather, right, and of course, I was like, ah, oh, I don't want to gain that much again and all that. But then I was like, well, it's kind of too late now. I got all the stretch marks from Brian's pregnancy, so <laughs> what difference does it make? But anyway, so... Um, um, I gained 30 pounds with her versus, again, the 45. Uh, and then, of course, I kind of kept, I don't know, maybe about 10, 15 pounds anyway from the first pregnancy. So, honestly, um, it was good, you know. Um, and uh, I remember around the, I think she, yeah, she's she's about on time. And uh, I didn't break my water with her, but I guess I started doing the um, contraction thing. And um, I remember I was, you know, 
um, I mean, I went to work and my husband is like, well, we got to go to the clinic and get it checked out. I'm like, no, I don't really want to, you know, because my first one was emergency <laughs> C-section, right? But, oh. um, but, and then at that time they <laughs> said, oh, once you go C-section the first time, you're always going to have C-section. So, but then with her, because we, we move and we're at another state and, uh, the, the doctors over there said, no, you know, and this was only two years later. They said, no, you can have, you know, normal, whatever delivery if you want to. So long story short, I guess. Um, yeah, so I, I got admitted. And um, so it, I was in the, uh, is that labor room? Or what was that that you're waiting for your contraction? That's not labor that is labor room. Yeah. Cause it is labor and right delivery. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, so, so I was feeling it and stuff with, with Heather. Oh my God. She really let me know that, Hey mom, I'm in there and stuff, you know, with Brian, <laughs> I did not feel anything, you know, nothing at all, but with her. So I was like having contraction. And of course at labor room, my husband was there and, and, uh, and I'm like, ah, and then, so he would get the, um, <laughs> one of the nurses and they said, nope, not quite yet. I don't know what centimeters and stuff, but it's like, mom, did you have an epidural with me? Honestly, I know. So I didn't. So, so she was like, uh, oh, and then nope. And then <laughs> second time again, I don't know how many hours in between. <laughs> And it's like, ah, you know, I'm really feeling it. So my husband again tried to get the, the nurses like, nope, still not a go. I was like, okay. So um, and then again, later on, I was like, oh, she really wants to come out. I'm feeling it. So so my husband again got somebody. And then that's when they said they're probably thinking, oh, my God. You know, here she is again. We told her again already two times that, no, you're not ready. But that third time, it's like, Mrs. McLernan, don't push. And I'm like, I'm not pushing. <laughs> she wants to come out. <laughs> so, yeah. So she, after playing hide and seek the first couple of times, the third time, I guess she meant it. And, uh, yeah, I, I mean, they almost, they told me that, they they did not give me anything, but they said that they almost didn't catch her. So so yeah, so that's that was my pre- well, really more wow. the, the delivery part. Yeah, she wanted to come out, and she it, it, of course it's you know on her time. So so yeah, that's oh always on yeah. my time, and it's that already pretty much. Told us what kind of child she's going to be. <laughs> I love it. I was going to say, and she's been diving head first ever <laughs> since, you know? ready to go. <laughs> exactly. Oh, man. Oh, love it. Love it. And your life has never been more grand than the day I came into this world. <laughs> Love you, mom. All right, good luck, mom. Your turn. Your turn. You're up. Mine's not up. quite as fun as that. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't bad, but it was just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> so pregnancy went well. Rachel also was my second child. Um, you know, all three of my pregnancies were natural, no drugs whatsoever. Um, but Rachel was, I was on the way home. I had gotten my hair done with, by her aunt Cheryl and was on my way home in, when I felt my first, you know, contraction, I thought, Oh, I think Rachel, if, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure it was right at Vasquez rocks. <laughs> would make a lot of sense. Would make a lot of sense. I have right? a I have a pool there. Yep, it's for yep, sure. It. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's so, so cool to even think yeah. that really now right. after all these years. But anyway, 
um, got home and called Aunt Michelle because Mike didn't want to see his wife or his babies in distress. So Aunt Michelle was my coach for all three of my kids. Nice. Oh. <laughs> we had a great time. Um, so she came out and we sat on um, the bed in our guest room. And because we, you know, had extra rooms in this big old house. At the time, <laughs> I was going to say which one. I'm trying to imagine. So, which one was the guest room? The downstairs yeah. room or the? Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So Michael was up here, and then Rachel was going to be right next to us. And <clears throat> anyway, so she came out, and we sat on the bed, and we talked about you know her. She also was pregnant. Oh. Yeah, with Adam. <laughs> with Adam. Mm-hmm. and, you know, didn't know what she was. So with Rachel, I knew Rachel was a girl. We had an ultrasound, so we knew that Rachel was coming. We didn't know her name at that point, but towards the end, it was getting, you know, going to be Rachel. Um, but Well, I remember, I'm sorry, I remember you were going to name me. You had thought about Megan, Megan. but she wanted a Megan, yes. <laughs> and now I have a best friend, Megan. So anyway. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Keep going. Um, dad wanted Dad wanted Rachel. Dad liked Rachel. Mm-hmm. Um, I, yeah. I, I I don't know why I didn't have a I didn't have a preference. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about you know I didn't I wasn't raised thinking oh I'm going to be a mom and this is what I want right and, you know I didn't I didn't do all that just whatever happens happens. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so anyway so. Um, yeah, we were sitting on the bed, and she said, "Yeah, I want to Megan," and I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> you take that." So I guess I'm going with Rachel. She ended up with an Adam. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's okay. That's awesome. Uh, um, but anyway, so where were we? Um, she, you know, didn't want to come. So at one thirty the next day, one thirty in the afternoon, or you know, noonish in the afternoon. <laughs> We went to the hospital and she still didn't want to come out. So around, you know, (laughs) sometime after that, everybody's telling the nurses are coming in and like, you know what? She's getting her nails done. She's having her hair done. She's getting all these things done before she makes her entrance into the world. Like, that's that's a good way to look at it. Okay. (laughs) So she they had to break my water with these big old like chopsticks oh wow like a chopstick Mm -hmm. they put up there to break your water which was no fun Mm -hmm. um but you know one and done and then i had to have pitocin because she still didn't Mm -hmm. you know just things weren't going but anyway so Sometime that afternoon, I don't remember exact times, she was born. I think it was around 1.30. Um, could have been later, but I was so excited. Yeah, I right. Just, <laughs> we just wanted her out. <laughs> yeah. I was so excited to have a girl. I really, really was. I had my boy, because Michael came first, uh-huh. almost three years apart. Um, mm-hmm. And yeah, we took her home and... All the pink stuff, yeah. cute clothes, <laughs> and her white hair. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it, was no. just, really? yeah, yeah. it was just fun. But it was an easy, easy oh, yeah. pregnancy. So not too bad. Oh, I so love sweet. hearing both of those <laughs> so much. So much. Okay, good. All right, Heather. Let's do the next one, baby. All right. All right. So. As you both mentioned, we are not your only children, but we have a very important question to ask. Who is your favorite child and why? And don't lie. We're moms. We know you have a favorite. Don't be shaking so, your head. Don't be shaking your head. Terry, tell us the truth. Who's your Rachel favorite child? Rachel is by far my favorite daughter. Like, Nicely no done. one compares to that. <laughs> All right, mom, mom, I have a feeling I know what you're going to say. <laughs> you know what? I echo Terry, you know, you're my favorite I knew daughter. It. Uh, but 
even and, and like you said, as moms, you know, um, and your dad kind of helped me with this, I guess, because it's like, well, it really depends. So who's my our favorite mm. child? Uh, but you know, it depends on the day and what behavior they're <laughs> doing. Okay, <laughs> then no, Brian's my favorite mm. today. Or, you know, the other day, it's Heather. So, no. Okay, fine. But then who's had more days being the favorite, me oh or my Brian? God. I need to know. I need to know. <laughs> this is not a competition, girls. We and it's unfair because he has two years on me. So, it's unfair oh for you to God, say him. Yes. And I, I just, just kidding. To, that civil, sibling rivalry I never have ends. I say this, okay? Because... Heather, when she was, you know, younger, uh, honestly, even when she was in her 20s, she's like, yeah, mom, I think you love, you know, y- you love Brian better than than me because, my gosh, he had more baby VHS videos than me. He had more baby pictures than me, you know, and, and what's up with that? And so now she has two girls, okay? So now... You know, like one time it's like, oh, Heather, you know, you have like the different months. Uh, Tempe's already a year old and you're like, you know, no. you're still at 10 months. You what out. is up? You know? So it's like, yeah, I know, mom. So I, I couldn't. Stop calling me out, I mom. It, Stop but it. I had to say, see, now you understand why when you no, were I do. time, you know. I 100% understand because having more than one, now it's like 10 times harder. And me and Zach, we were very conscious to say like, okay, you know, just anything that we do with Evie, we have to think like, we're going to have to do this again with the, the, the next one that we have. And, you know, it's so true. It's so much harder to keep up with it. You've got now two little things running around instead of just one. And so it is a lot harder to keep up with. Um, but I, I do I do see your point, Mom. Yep. Now. But still, you could have had more pictures with me as a baby, I'm just saying. <laughs> I have I have to say that right after I said that, Weston poked his head in the door and gave me a look like that was a the good answer. Good thing you answered that way. <laughs> That's the best. That's funny. Oh, man. Well, I feel like for my mom, too, like, it's such, like, a a weird thing to think about because she has it all, right? Like, you could look at it any way of, like, okay, first child, right? First child. Then you can think about the girl. And then you can think about the baby. The the baby. It's just like, like, what do you You got it. You got it. That's exactly it. That's going to be my answer. Always. (laughs) There you go. Nice. Perfect. Oh, man. (laughs) Okay. All right. I love those. Those make my heart happy. So now I want to know just, you know, (laughs) what were we like? What were we like when we were little? You can't. My mom's just going to cry the whole time. So Teresa, go ahead first because my mom's already bawling. Um, Uh. But yeah, just like, you know, when we were young, when we were growing up, like what were we like? I want to hear it. Well, I'm sure you guys are not going to be surprised about this, okay? But um, (laughs) Heather, obviously, is a headstrong, high-energy toddler. What? Okay. (laughs) Well, and really, even now. (laughs) But, um, you know. Toddler. Right. (laughs) 30 30 plus toddler. No. But um, all I can tell you is that. And, and and this is the truth. Um, you know, uh, honestly, both kids have been, you know, um, child care babies since like, you know, after uh, my maternity leave and then they go to the, you know, to the base child care um, center. And uh, so when, um, of course, not when she was a baby, but when, you know, she she got a little older and starting to show her character, uh, the, the caregivers <laughs> basically told me, you know, that mm, with your two kids, I think we know who's going to be the, how do they put it? 
we know the who's boss. gonna be the <laughs> ah, I for, forgot exactly but not necessarily Did they call me an instigator? instigator didn't they call me the That's instigator i was yeah. gonna say troublemaker but no instigator is <laughs> <laughs> no, not troublemaker, but she she hit it right. Instigator of my two kids, and sure enough, you know, she's she's very vocal. She's you know, and uh, Brian, he is he is a mellow kid, and he just keeps it in 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 until he can't take it anymore. So so it's it's. So you needed one instigator in the family, you know, <laughs> like I was doing my brother a favor. He, we would just, you can't have two, two mellow that is, kids. That's, that's just going to be boring that's for true. you guys. So I had to make your life interesting but, um, and be the headstrong 33 <laughs> year old toddler. Thank you. Thank you but very much. She really has like a, um, I mean, a good memory, you know, I mean, I, I, this is one of the things that I remember too, like, uh, we were in the car, you know, and and um, I was driving, and she's in the uh, um, front passenger seat, and we always have the music on, right? Um, and then she would just be, you know, she would just be quiet and and just focus. And I'm like, okay, I guess she's just really listening. And then um, come to find out later on what it was is she's remembering all the lines to that song. And then next thing you know, she's, <laughs> she's just singing it with all the words, you know. And I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> you know. So, so yeah, that's, that's kind of. So I'd really like to thank my mom for my love of late 80s, early 90s. R and B because that was mainly what we listened to in the car. And I can tell you I know every lyric to every salt and pepper song, every invoke song. <laughs> and of course some of the songs that I mentioned to my mom. the words that I always thought was the words, but I guess anyway. <laughs> so can I just really quick tell a story about that? That's why it's so funny. We, this was in high school, I think, and, um, that's, it's a, what was that band? But it, it's like, how to, how to save a life, where <laughs> did I go wrong? I lost myself. Where where Okay, so my mom had a really, to me, an updated car in high school that, when the radio was playing a song, the radio, like the thing across our little radio would tell you what the name of the song was. And despite that, despite <laughs> her seeing the name of the song, instead of the name of the song, How to Save a Life, she would go, How to Stay Alive, Where Did I Go <laughs> Well, I mean, sometimes, you know, it's... <laughs> Yeah, and I remember. You know that's that's <laughs> called that has a word. What what is it? What is when it? You, awesome. When you think, when you say, when you sing a song with words you think it is or uh -huh. you make up, yeah. it's called Mondegreen. You can look it up. It's oh. called Mondegreen. Mondegreen. Oh, My mom is a professional <laughs> Mondegreener. Then I have to say <laughs> because she does it all the time. Yeah. And sometimes it is like the light of my life to hear the lyrics yes. she has made up for herself. Yep. It's the best thing ever. Yep. <laughs> That's funny. All right, Terry, tell us what Rachel was like when she was little. <sighs> well, this might be hard, but Ray was um, full of life. Um, just, I think the word mostly that comes to mind is loving as she Aww. is today. Just, I mean, I hate everything. <laughs> <laughs> Deep she inside, says that, you're still loving. But, but deep down, there's that, right. that heart of gold that comes out towards everybody. Um, <laughs> so she, you know, and I, I can picture it with Weston. I mean, she loved her little brother and helped him, you know, always wanted to help him, would finish his sentence, would have to tell me what he's trying to say, um, was just was just a loving, 
of animals, of Mm -hmm. people, of, you know, her family, as she still is, wanting to just always be with her friends and, and, and just love on people constantly. And so that's, I mean, that's the heart of Rachel um, to me. And as a kid, and to me. you know, we, we <laughs> dabbled in some Barbies here and there and, you know, it didn't, it didn't really stick like I hoped it would because I loved Barbies when I was a kid, yep. um, but, but that's okay. And then, you know, she is a daddy's girl for sure yeah. still. <laughs> I think Kenzie might be creeping, trying to creep in there. <laughs> She's trying to take my spot. Yeah. <laughs> He's mine. I have to say, I'm pretty sure my daughter has already taken yeah, my spot. Right. So that is, that's yeah. definitely learn how to thing. share, yeah. right? <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, we'll be having a conversation, and she's just like, Papa's my favorite. I'm like, Papa. Oh. I'm like, you're not allowed to have him. Yeah, yeah so just, um, you know, just a loving person with, with everybody and, and everything. So oh. we'll go with that. Yay! <laughs> I love it. I love it. As I say, you're talking <laughs> shit all the time about everything. <laughs> I know, but you're talking shit with there love. That's the, <laughs> it's the comedic relief because if you saw my true insides, <laughs> okay, we're going to move on so that I stay dry eyed okay um next question mom i'm just gonna make you go first because you were just talking already and so you can follow um do you remember what we wanted to be when we were older right so and then not only do you remember what we wanted to be but why are we not that and why are we here on a podcast uh, instead? So talk to us. Tell the people. Um, so if, you know, it's not the best memory, but I think mostly, let's see. What did I write down here? Um, <laughs> the, the now you guys thing, know where Rachel gets her noise <laughs> effects from. <laughs> from Terry. <laughs> The first thing that came to my mind was a veterinarian first early on, early, early again, the love of, you know, animals and that kind of thing. So that was kind of first Um, event planner came, you know, later in high school, I think. um, I remember that. I remember that. to do event planning and was going to, um, you know, attend a, a, a conference or whatever it was to you didn't do that right no sorry about that mom you paid some money and i just uh didn't do it I sorry think, about that um, i think and we'll touch on this a little bit probably in this episode but anxiety um can get in the way of certain things mm. so that um you know child care she went into child care or wanted to do you know work with children which when I was growing up, I wanted to be a teacher. Well, you know, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't always work out like you think or yeah. like mm-hmm. you talk about exactly. or imagine. Um, and I think it's because finances and other desires get in the way, you know, of, of what you can afford to do or, you know, maybe it changes. So even mm-hmm. with me, I mean, for us, it, it just, it's, you know, it, it's finances and, and the desire to, to do something different. Mm -hmm. So I Mm -hmm. think that's why, but, but because she's a loving and a people person, this, this is it. I mean, this is her wanting to talk to people and interact with people and stay in touch with people. And, (laughs) and that kind of thing is why you're doing a podcast. And it's awesome. And it doesn't matter what the content is. Yep. Rachel can talk about anything. <laughs> I <can. laughs> that is so true. <laughs> Which That's you'll uh, hear in my little, you know, shout out. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah. so that's that. All right, Mom. 
And full disclosure, everyone, my mom, I sent some of these questions to my mom beforehand. And then she actually had to text me <laughs> back and say, say, I don't that? know what you wanted to be when you were little. And so, and she was like, oh, what do I? <laughs> so she had a little bit of help with this. Yeah. One. yeah. <laughs> what? Did you answer me? I didn't see that text. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, check your cell phone. Okay. It's okay. Oh, you know what? Um, actually, okay. So my memory is serving me right. Uh, I mean, Honestly, I did not see your text, but before that, I was thinking she did. She, um, I remember her saying that she wanted to be a teacher, you know, which is, mm -hmm. you know, really a good thing at the time. Well, still, I didn't say at the time, but I'm just glad that, you know, how sometimes, still. you know, the your kids uh, kind of wanted to do all that. Oh, I want to be a lawyer, a teacher, a scientist and all that, which... At that time, of course, when they're young, it's like, okay, anything is possible, you know. But um, but I always thought that I actually, for myself, uh, you know, when I was younger, I wanted to also be a teacher uh, and or an accountant because my grandpa was an accountant and my grandpa was my father figure, mm. you know, because mm -hmm. uh, I did not grow up with my dad. So... Uh, and teacher, I always thought, you know, is, is also a, a very, you know, um, a great uh, profession. But now, I mean, I, I remember this recent years, you know, both my kids will say, no, mom, you can't be a teacher. I mean, even though obviously I have my career now, but no, mom, you, you just don't have the patience. You know, I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> Maybe I don't have the patience for you kids, but for other kids, maybe I would. But um, it's a thing. Yeah, and it's true. Yeah. It's true. And I totally it's true. know. It is yeah, true because it's true. even uh, just a quick thing, you know, when when Heather um, um, went to that orientation for Cal State Long Beach, and and you know, and they they had this um, this. You know, students that are like, uh, I think, sophomore or um, all junior and, and even senior. And there were a lot of them that saying, well, I started with this for my major. And then now, and you know, I switch and switch again. And I was thinking to myself, oh, my God, you know, you're mm -hmm. <laughs> you're a, you know, you're almost a senior. You need to kind of change your mind. But I mean, make up your <laughs> mind. But. But yeah, so, but I have to say Heather was really focused with her studies, you know, and, uh, and uh, she was one thing that I have to say was like, no, uh, when she w went to um, college, she's like, no, I wanted to be this mom. I wanted to get my PhD and this and that. And, and of course there were, you know, as, as Terry had mentioned before, there were some you know, challenges like life throws you that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then, um, I mean, thinking back now, I'm sure Heather would agree that it's like, you know, at that time, okay, that was her goal. But I mean, now it's like, no, I mean, didn't really need to be that to be a happy mm -hmm. person, you know, with the, you, right. you know, with obviously what she's doing now is, is way different than what she wanted to be for. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I think you're right. And I think, I mean, I think that is part of everybody's story is that, you know, you, you have this thought in your head, I'm going to do this and you have this goal and maybe you have it for years and years and years. And then like you both said, things happen, life, life happens, happens. curveballs get thrown at you and for whatever reason, you need to, you know, take a different path. But that doesn't mean that 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 new path isn't going to lead to the same amount of happiness, if not more. I mean, I think about the fact that had I gotten into a Ph.D. and gone through a Ph.D., I probably wouldn't be happily married with two beautiful babies mm -hmm. right now working from a freaking at home job, which is also amazing. You know, and being able to spend that time with my kids because I, I mean, that's the thing. I always thought, oh, yeah, sure, I'll be a mom one day, but it wasn't ever at the top of my list. And now 
being a mom is at the top of my freaking list. And I have a career that allows me the flexibility yeah. to do that. And it's yes. not what I thought I was going to be when I was little. Right. So it's definitely like you both said. And I think all of us can agree with that sentiment. You know, we all had a thought in our heads of what we wanted to be and how we wanted to do it. And it's not exactly that path, but we're all happy. Right. So it's, it's, it's definitely true. And I remember, because my parents were the first people I called when I wasn't getting into my PhD programs, and they heard how upset I was and mad I was and just how I felt at that time at 23 years old. My life is falling apart. <laughs> and it wasn't. It was fine. This too shall pass. So well, yeah. That, you'll you know, be all right. right. You're right. You're those, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mom, for your for your unending support during those what I thought was the hardest moments of my life Aww, <laughs> at the time. <laughs> yeah. So speaking of hard moments, this next one is a is a is a kind of a hard question. We'll start with well, let's start with my mom. Mom, because I have an idea of which one you're going to say. What is one of the scariest moments you had? as a mother okay I didn't have to think too hard about that because I mean the first thing that came in my mind was when I thought I almost lost your brother was that the same thing I knew you were gonna say that one at the airport at the airport I've even told Rachel about this one yeah (laughs) um, so my um you know my husband was away um you know out of uh well out of the country actually on some uh, yeah, training. Yeah, both military parents. Yeah. Both military yeah. and thank you, and that's a lot. That's a whole nother episode. <laughs> but thank yes, you. I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, so I was uh, I was a young mother because um, <clears throat> Heather was, oh my gosh, maybe she's like about a year old, a little bit over a year, and, and Brian, of course, was three-ish something. So <clears throat> my husband was away, and... Um, um, you know, I, I heard the news that my, my grandpa was in ICU. So I, and as I already mentioned earlier, my grandpa was my father figure. And so I was like, oh my God. And, and they weren't sure if, you know, he's going to make it or, or whatever. So it's like, okay, well, so, and at that time we were at Washington state, um, uh, I forgot that Spokane, Spokane, Washington. So, um, I actually, I had to travel with the two kids and all of whatever gadgets for, you know, for, for the baby. And at that time, maybe I should have thought about it. I, I did, I should have put a leash on my, <laughs> my three-year-old, <laughs> you know, because he, he was just, um, so we were going through the, the, the security check, right. Where we were, you know, getting all the, the um, handbags and all that. So again, I was, so I said, Brian, stay with mom. So, you know, so I gone through and Heather was still carrying Heather and, and trying to gather all my belongings. And next thing I know, oh my God, where's my son? You know? Uh. And I, I was like, I looked around and just freaking panic attack. You know, I'm like, oh, and then, mm-hmm. um, I don't know, but I just kind of looked around and I don't know if I, I asked somebody to help, but, but he was wandering around. And, and so anyway, yeah, so, oh, found him. Uh, but yeah, that was just the scariest, scariest moment is, wow. is you know, thinking, oh, where did my, my child go? Yeah, yeah, that they're actually lost. Yes, yeah. Well, and yeah. and in a place that is like full of people, so public, yes. so open, so congested. Yep. Like that, just my heart. Like you're saying it, I'm over here like pulsing yeah. right now because I'm really just like was. I can't. And 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 you know, it's it's almost like it just happened yesterday. It's like ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that was oh, the scariest. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right, Terry. So now that we've all been thoroughly freaked out by my mom's story, why don't you tell us your scariest moment as a mother? Uh, um, as a mother of Rachel, <laughs> <laughs> I think my, it wasn't, I've never really had a scary moment 
with Rachel or or Michael Weston. He's had a cup a broken bone and um, like almost cut his thumb off with brand new knives. So those were scary. Um, but with Rachel, <laughs> it wasn't really a scary moment. More like, a, wow, this is really happening kind of moment. <laughs> And that was um, kind of, you know, in middle school, we'll touch on this a little bit. In middle school, there was a shift of that, you know, outgoing, fun, loving, you know, um, little girl that I knew. And... (laughs) Stop, Um, Terry! So... (laughs) I can't you know, trying that. to figure out for me what that was, what's happening. Um, so just, you know, taking it. So we took her to a couple of doctors to, to just kind of see what was going on and found out that she was, you know, diagnosed with essential tremors, which is, you know, the shaking kind of different body parts, whatever. Um I, you know, as a mom, I'm like, oh, my God, did somebody hurt you? Did somebody touch you in the wrong place? Did, you know, what's what's happening? Is somebody bothering you? I mean, she was running out of classrooms. She couldn't, you know, be in the classroom. And, um, you know, at certain points, things so all, you know, chalk it up to. And I know this is just throwing it out there lightly and it's not a light thing, but anxiety. So having an anxiety, you know, disorder issue, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, I was, I was kind of like a little, I'll say a little flippant about it because I didn't, I didn't know what it was. I didn't think that, you know, not my Rachel, you know, she's this Mm -hmm. bright, vibrant person who loves everybody and, and is so fun to be around and, and that kind of thing. And, this, mm-hmm. this is not happening. So it wasn't, it wasn't a moment. It was a, a period mm-hmm. um, of, of doctors. And we even went to, she went to a therapist, um, a psych, what was she? Uh, She's like a hypnotherapist, a hypno. So you were hypnotized, um, you know, just kind of try and see what was going on. At one point, um, one of the doctors recommended she go on a medication. I think it was Xanax. I'm not sure if that's what it was or if it was something more, but we went to the pharmacy and we were going to pick that up. And I looked at it and I read it and I said, you know, it said could cause tendency, suicidal tendencies or something like that. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. You remember? Yeah. yeah, which is and, common with a lot of yeah. medications yeah, that are prescribed for that. A lot of yeah. a lot of antidepressants. So yeah. I looked at the pharmacist and I said, "Would you give this to your child?" And she said, "No." So mm-hmm. I said, "We don't want it." Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I'm sorry, but she's been kind of dealing with that ever since, in her own way and awesomely, um, even though she may not think so. <laughs> So we me, all think so, Rachel. Yeah, for me, that that was my scariest moment with her for her period of time. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, having to go through that because how can this, you know, how can she, you know, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Even still, mm-hmm. I want to say no. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I, I know it's there. I know it's there and I know it's it's an issue for her and it's hard. Um, but somehow she pushes through and hopefully gets her support from things like this and all the people that she has that support her and love her. And, and it's awesome. So it's, it's a blessing in disguise, even though it's not, (laughs) but yeah, that was, I have to say that was my scary with Rachel. I didn't know what to do for several years. Oh, scary. I'm so scary. I just, what I want to say, because we have obviously talked about mental health and this episode is coming out in the middle of Mental Health Awareness Month. We take 
are, you know, we talk about mental health. Mama, you matter right there, Rachel. Exactly. And being mothers as a whole other layer on top of any mental health, you know, problems that you may already have um, in your life. And I just want to say that we have talked about before how important it is to have those people in your corner, even if those people, Terry, like you said, and my mom can probably feel exactly the same way. I remember in high school, I specifically remember a point in high school where I was on the bathroom floor just crying, crying, crying. And my mom walks in and she goes, Heather, I, I don't, I don't know what's wrong. I want to help you. I don't know what to do when you, I don't know what to do. And we have talked about how important it is to have people in your corner and how important it is that even though you, and both for Rachel and I, you guys are the most important people if, you know, in our lives. And so even if you don't 100% understand what we're going through or how we're struggling, the fact that we know that we can count on you despite you not knowing, okay, Despite you not knowing exactly how we're feeling or whatever, it means the world to us. It means the world to us. And for all you other mothers out there, I know, I'm sorry. We're not supposed to be getting gushy yet. So I just want to say, Terry, and to Rachel, um, yes, scariest moments there. But that unconditional motherly love and support is the the best thing for those um types of good situations. awesome so yeah I, I agree there we go i agree ah. i had i had my mom support me you know through i i get it it's it's amazing yeah. and even though you know as a mom you wonder if you're giving that enough right i know i got it from my mom so yeah Thank you. For and even though your mom probably thought the same thing, like, am I giving yeah. Terry enough? Yeah. We feel yeah. it. We know. Yeah. Okay, let's stop. Let's, well, actually, Rachel, let's keep going. While we're on this gush, go ahead and, go ahead and lay it down and just have everyone start bawling. Okay, let's uh-huh. just, let's just get into it. No, this one's going to yeah. be fun. Okay. <laughs> no, because we're going to take a break from oh. the questions. Okay. We're going to take a break. We're going to take a break from the questions. Um, but before I do that, I do have to say, I have always felt nothing but support, um, as a child and as an adult. Gosh darn, man. (laughs) How do I breathe (laughs) when you're sitting here? (laughs) Oh, freaking heck. All right, so... I just um, wanted to say, I wore makeup said. for this podcast, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I know. I don't know why I decided yeah. to put on mascara today. I want to look like, like a raccoon. I haven't worn, worn mascara in, like, three months, and today's the day I decided to put some <laughs> on. Like, oh, my God. Sometimes I was like, <laughs> and then I tell my husband, are you not looking at my face? Why can't, how come you didn't tell me my mascara is everywhere? <laughs> Like, that is so funny. I did not notice. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Ray, what? Uh, yeah, no, you I was just going to say, you I think it's it, a Rachel. good time to take a break <laughs> from all of that because, yeah, that's a lot. My glass is I mean, empty. I feel like, so we <laughs> pour it up, go ahead and uh, add some more. Uh, Contact IT. They will bring you another uh, <laughs> But, Mom, right now I just want you to listen to me. So, ah, shit. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to end and then I wasn't going to be able to speak. So, that's why I tried to, like, give I you know. a little bit of time. But I, I think I might have made it worse. I think I made it worse. No, it's okay. It's okay. I just have to say how I am the luckiest girl in the world to have you as my mom. There's just a blank wall over there. That's why I'm staring over there because I just got to stare at the blank fucking wall, all right? (laughs) So, I try so hard, especially now that I'm a mother, to tell you just how thankful I am for you. But as I look back, right... 
I truly hope that through all of those things, through everything you're talking to us about, I made you feel that as well as I was growing up. My childhood as a young adult, adulthood turning into a mother myself, I couldn't have asked for a better mother, a role model, a rock, a shield, someone who protected me from everything, a cheerleader through everything I did in life, my best friend, a million other things. I just, man, <laughs> woo. I need a drink. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I just, right. Um, I just love you so much. And you have not only been someone who has supported and who has been there, but you're someone who I want to just grow into. I want to be so many things that you are. And that's my goal in life. So I need you to move to Kentucky or else I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Okay? <laughs> so I just, I need you to know that because I, I just feel like I am everything and I've had everything and I've been blessed with so much in life. And that is because of you, because of what you've done, who you are, what you have provided, what you have supported me with. And I'm thankful for that. And everything I do as a mother moving forward is because of that. So thank you so, so, so much. Thank you. Be my mom. Enter hysterical crying here. And now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Cheers to you, Terry! Cheers to Terry! We love you! Cheers! Cheers! Thanks, honey. I love you so much. I love you. Back at ya. So, let's jump back into some questions so that we can all stop crying for a second. Um, let's start... Okay, so Terry, can you tell us a memory that you cherish of when Rachel and Heather were together. What is one of the fun memories of us together? Okay. I have I have two specifically, but one is so I think one is um her 17th birthday? Was it 17? Which one was that? You have to tell me the theme. Her 17th birthday at the house. Um well, just just everybody here and you here. Mm -hmm. I can see you on the couch. And okay, so that one, her I think it was your seventeenth, right? So my so she was here for seventeenth and eighteenth. She was actually sixteen, seventeen, and eighteenth. But sixteenth was at Janet. Yes. Yeah, that was there. Seventeenth was here. Um, 17th was Kristen and you yeah. hosted a beautiful dinner yeah. for us. She was here too. And then my 18th was poker night. So I don't know which okay, one you're referring okay. to. 17th. It doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. All right. That being here, I, <laughs> just the pictures and that kind of thing. And a more somber, I'm going to go to the fun one last, but a more somber one was at Kristen's memorial. I know, mm -hmm. I, you know, I know it was, you were older, but sorry. Sorry, mm -hmm. Ray. But seeing you there and you being there and saying what you said and just being there to support Ray. Um, so that was yeah. another. But the fun one is, I should have done this first. Rachel's like off camera, like not even wanting to look first, at you. Is the finger song with Stronger. Finger song? Your you wall. can't say finger song. <laughs> In the bedroom. You guys do it in the bedroom, the finger song, whatever it was, stronger. You know what it is. Did I remember we learned that whole thing? Yeah. <gasps> I had totally forgot that until right now. In her bedroom. In her bedroom that was Kanye West the, Stronger like, is the finger song. Like, Get out, Bob, if we're trying to get a video or whatever you were doing. <laughs> I, I had totally forgot we learned the whole yeah. 
better, farther, faster, stronger, yeah. ding, 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 with our fingers. <laughs> oh my god, I totally we did forgot the body. about that. We did the body paint too. We yeah. did. We did that too. Yeah. Yeah. Good times. So I have good that times. One. Nice. So, sorry, but yeah. Okay. All right. That's it. Ma, what about you, for okay. you? I know we know your memory is not that great, <laughs> but hopefully you have some. Of- <laughs> well, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll also just kind of have a disclaimer that I, I felt like I missed about a year of that time because I was in Korea. But um, I do remember, though, that, um, you know, the few sleepovers that you guys, you know, had in, in our um, in our house and uh whether after that, you know, I'm driving and, and taking you guys to the mall or wherever you guys happen to want to, you know, go to. And and I think we kind of touched upon it a little bit before, too, to where, you know, we'll have the we'll always have the radio on and I would be singing. And then next thing I knew, you guys are just cracking up. And it's like, uh, Ma, what did you just say? And I was like, this is it. You know? And I think there was another song, not, you know, in addition to that one that you that you just mentioned. And I was like, well, I always thought this is, you know, I was, and I thought I was being, you know, I was rocking it and I was being a cool mom. And come to find out, it's like, I was singing the wrong song, but or the wrong whatever word. No, you were a cool mom. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I've always, yeah. I enjoyed that, you know, whenever they had sleepover and, and the girls would be, um, you know, uh, hanging out. So, um, yeah, that's, those were, because I didn't, I didn't get Can to I do say, that Mom, cause, with cause, Brian, you know, because it's just yeah. a little bit different, I guess, with girls, right. you know, so. Yeah, yeah. right. So that was fun. So, Rachel, I don't know if you were the one in the car. I know I had people in the car. I don't know if you, I'm going to be very honest. I don't know if you were one of them. <laughs> but, Mom, I tried to use a different example because I didn't want to embarrass you. But y'all remember that song, Party Like a Rock. That's the one. Party yes, Like a Rock Star. Another. Party Like <laughs> a Rock. Okay. So my mother's lyrics. <laughs> The what was it called, Terry? Monda Green. Let's all, Monda, Monda Green. Green. My mother's Monda Green for Party Like a Rockstar. <laughs> I am imagine this. I'm like 16, 17, in the back seat of the car with my friends, trying to be cool, and my mother has this song come on the radio, and you know what she starts singing? Horny <laughs> like a rock. Shut horny up! Horny like a rock star. <laughs> horny like a rock. Oh my god! And I- but she was in her forties, and that's about right. Oh, yeah. oh that was a good day, you know. You'll so find good. out when you're forty. In between, in between trying to die from laughter and die from embarrassment, but also this is the best thing that's ever happened in my entire life because this is freaking hilarious. I had to correct my mother and say, "Mom." <laughs> It is not horny like a rock star. It is party like a rock star. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sometimes, you know, when, when that is amazing. the singers are singing it, you, I mean, sometimes you can't really understand what they're saying and, and whatever you think that you heard, I'm like, okay. And I really, at that time, I didn't, oh, let me really check the lyrics and this and, you know, make sure that I'm singing the right words, you know, but... Anyway. Which is why I didn't uh, want my kids listening to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Warning. Love it. Love it. Oh we need a break from all of the feelings, you guys. So let's play a game. A game. Okay. Um, this game is going to be a would you rather? Would she rather? Would mama rather? And, um, we, I'm just, we're going to go back and forth. Heather and I will go back and forth and you could both answer on this one. This is quick, easy, just kind of punchy, you know, um, just cause, cause I like games so much. Um, so I will go first. Would you rather shop online or go to the store? Go to the store. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I know my mom. Yeah, She'll go to the store. 
All right. Would you rather kiss more or hug more? Depends. <laughs> the older I get, is hug more. <laughs> I'm like, depends who it is. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on the mood. <laughs> Would you rather keep a dog or keep a cat? Dog. Yeah. I'm a, a cat, even though I'm allergic to both, but cat, <laughs> before I became allergic. <laughs> she still likes my cat, even though she's super allergic. Benny. Would you rather, ooh, this is a good one, spend $5,000 or save $5,000? Spend. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm> exactly. <laughs> Me too. Um, Not a good saver. (laughs) (laughs) Would you rather live in the country or live in the city? Country. Yeah. um, I guess. Can I be like halfway? (laughs) I don't. Same. Same. I want to be an hermit, but I don't want to be crazy city either. But I know. (laughs) Same, same. Would you rather stay at home or go out? Go out. Yeah. Me too. Man, I'm staying home. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I'm staying home. Oh. Um, it's because yeah, you run around. I was going to say, I go do so much. Yeah. Yeah, right. I don't stay home. Um, okay. Would you rather listen to music from the 80s or music from today? Yeah, 80s. <laughs> I'm going to say today. I like today's. I like what I listen to today yeah. better than country what I listened music. to in the 80s. Country music. Again, I'm going to go like, can I do like half and half? Yeah. I think that's a good one. Yeah. Depends. Who okay. Would you rather sew all your own clothes or grow your own food? Probably grow my own food. But that's that's a lot of work. But still, grow my own food. (laughs) (laughs) I'd probably rather grow my own food also, though I do like to sew. Yeah, that's Mm -hmm. true, too. Yeah. I can't do either of those things. I'm awake. I'm thinking, thinking like, which one am I going to be able to do? Neither. (laughs) I wish I could grow my own food. That's like a goal of mine to get better at that. So... I'm definitely not sewing anything. Uh, never. <laughs> I don't teach that anymore. That used to be a class when I went to school. Yeah. yeah. No, I did. I took it in seventh grade before I moved to California. That was wow. one of, that I learned home ec and did sewing my yeah, last school. Home ec. Mm-hmm. Would you rather live where it's constantly winter or live where it's constantly summer? Summer. (laughs) (laughs) I hate the heat. I'm gonna go with winter because I can I can get warm in the heat. It's hard to cool down. That is so true. That is so true. So true. You would last a a week before you're like, never mind, summer. (laughs) Turn it. I change my answer. Veto that. All right. Would you rather cook dinner at home or dine out? Oh, I thought that was the answer, the question earlier. Go out or stay home. Out for me. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I don't know. I I think for the most part, uh, yeah, it's kind of (laughs) hard. I think, um, I mean, cooking, if you really have the time and energy at home, you know, it's healthier choice. And, and although they, you can have that too when you go out. Um, <sighs> both, maybe. I don't know. Depends. Depends <laughs> on. You know what? You know what my answer is? Stay home, but have somebody else cook for me. <laughs> like, have my mom come to my house and cook. Oh my me. God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay would you rather or is it your turn my turn 
Go ahead. I don't remember. <laughs> Would you rather have Mexican food or Italian food? Yeah, I know. I'm three, Teresa. One, oh, two, God. Three. Okay, Mexican. Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Coffee or tea? Uh, coffee. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then last one. Be a little late or way too early? Ugh. Be a little late. <laughs> Don't want to be too way too early. Yeah. And well, got to have to deal with a little chit-chatting, especially with people you don't like. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> no, she's not. She's not kidding. <laughs> and plus, Filipino time. We're never on time. <laughs> Oh my uh, god, that's the best Island ever. time! Although it's never really <laughs> been back, but anyway, I'll just use that as an excuse. <laughs> Alright, this sounds good. Okay, so now that we got our little warm-up in, we can get back into these questions All here. Alright. These last couple questions we have, they're a little bit more deep I would have to say but that's okay because we're all warmed up now when we're ready for this and you guys have your notes so we're all right <laughs> I didn't get that far I know I was gonna say I kind of have my shorthand hopefully my memory will serve me right <laughs> well then let's let's we'll go ahead and start with my mom so <laughs> she at least has shorthand all right so mom what is one thing as a mother, you feel you could have done better. Uh, okay, uh, probably like early my earlier days that um, I know I'm a Type A personality, and then and, and I could have been a little bit more patient and calmer. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to you know be. Whew, more more of the verbal yelling type because I'm like ah! but um, and that's probably um, the reason too why I'm sure both my kids were just happy that their dad taught them how to drive because I think they tried with me it's like uh uh-uh, uh no more no more mom dad I do have to say I will say very quickly on that note is that First of all, Mom, I think maybe when I was a kid, maybe I thought the same thing, but being a mother now, I totally understand why sometimes you were just like, oh my gosh. (laughs) But I do have to say, my poor brother, my dad was gone when he first started driving, and so the first couple months my brother drove was with my mom, and I remember being in the backseat of that car, and that was not (laughs) ideal. Um, so yes, I'm very thankful that my dad was back when I first started driving, cause yikes, <laughs> yikes. Oh gosh. Go ahead, Terry, your turn. Um, gosh. What was I going to say? What was I just thinking? <laughs> it came and went <laughs> like a, like a lot of things. Um, I think more like taking care of things um you know you may or may not agree right (laughs) but more you know having chores having a regimen and 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 finances so you know this is your responsibility this is what you got to do every single day no matter what even if you have soccer practice and basketball practice, you still have to go home and do this and do that. You don't get to not do it just because. And um, a lot of times it was, you know, they're too tired. Don't, you know, don't push them so hard. Don't, you know, don't make them do the dishes. Don't make them do this or that or the other thing. And, you know, I mean, I think, I think it helps all of us to have a routine and to be more, 
you know, uh, I, I don't know what the word is, but to have a routine just along have with structure and have a routine. Yeah. yeah. Finances, teaching them better finances, being, being a better model of <laughs> instead of spending the 5,000 saving it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I wish, you know, I wish we would have, you know, like set up accounts and taught them what interest meant and paying interest and how not fun that is. And, you know, just all the financial stuff that they, you know, are unfortunately going through and having to learn now. So, yeah, those those kinds of things could have been better. For sure. Yeah. Maybe I would save some $5,000. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I would still, I think I would still, like, if I could, I would still fix spending. I mean, why not? Why not? Man? <laughs> you must, if you got it, I mean, you must yeah. If you got it. <laughs> I think that's the difference between Heather and my, my son. Yeah. My, you know. Oh, yeah. My brother would 100% is, is say save so it. frugal. You know, oh. mm-hmm. but I, I think because, too, that, um, he, you know, he went outside the state, uh, Arizona, and um, eh, I guess say on his own, even though we, we were obviously helping him. But uh, but there is a difference as far as really, I, I think, first of all, being a being a guy, right, and first born and uh, being actually like seven hours away from mom and dad. Uh, so, but yeah, and then of course, you know, and then there's Heather. No, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, buddy, there's me. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, but I think now, of course, you know, um, she, you know, she learns finances. I'm, and I'm good, good now. Yeah. I'm good now. It's just every. I would still say my brother's better, but that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. I'm like, oh my gosh, every time we visit them, I was like, how many freaking boxes of Amazon Prime you guys she have always- in your backyard? And then while we're still there, it'll be like, or like, you know, I'll be in the, the it, driver shows up again. Yeah. <laughs> or I'll be just guarding it in the front and there'll be another delivery. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> you know what? You need something. It's just right there at your fingertips. <laughs> I, I would be scared to know how much I spent on Amazon Prime in the last few yeah. years, but that's okay. It's okay. We're going to move right along to the next question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. This is actually the last question. So uh, the last one we have, unless, Heather, you, you have anything else you're going to add in there. But the last one that we have for you guys is, what is something that you see in us or in the boys, any of your kids, that shows you just how good you guys really did? Like, one thing you're proud of yourself for because you see it in us or your kids. Go ahead, Mom. Ha. <laughs> gotcha. I know, I was like, it. <laughs> you know, it's, I think kindness, I think love and kindness just at, from from Dad and me. But, but yeah, I can see myself in all three of my kids in some form or fashion and that makes me happy it makes me happy that i can you know see that they're they're kind and like to pay things forward and and just you know show people and tell people want to be with people they love and and care for like all the time (laughs) so that Kindness, I love. love. Yep. Sweet. All right, Teresa, you're up. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's that's. Um, I just have to say what Terry said is is really nice, and and um, I think the same thing that um, you know, we um, it, between me and my husband was like you know sometimes we'll reflect back and say you know what we we didn't do too bad with the two kids we have, you know, and uh, I think um, part of it too was uh, they both have good work ethics and, um, you know, um, study habits and, you know, I was going to say financially responsible, but maybe just for Brian. No, I'm just so kidding. <laughs> financially responsible? I mean, come No, on. no. Yeah, but, um, <laughs> but I think too being... Um, 
you know, respectful, and um, and I think, you know, even though we would say, oh my God, you know, these kids are just not behaving well at home, you know, but then when you're outside of home and you see how they react with other people, then you know, it's like, oh yeah, you've done, you know, we've done good. So yeah. we used to save all our misbehaving for you, <laughs> yeah, just for you, mom. <laughs> I mean that's exactly what they say. It's yeah, the worst with your with your mom specifically. So it's mm-hmm. like you guys definitely got that that in. Yeah, for sure, for sure. That's well, that's the last question. But before we wrap up, I just have a couple of words to say about my mom. Okay. So don't make me I'm cry. Gonna to, I'm gonna try not to cry myself, mom. You All really. Right. I mean, I said it before, but you really showed me what unconditional love is. And, you know, growing up, there were times where we were very far apart from each other, literally physically far <laughs> far apart from each other. But no matter what, I knew that, you know, I had your love and your support. And you have always been one of the most, if not the most important person in my life. And since I have become a mom, that is just even more true. And as I continue to go through this motherhood journey, I i mean, I think I said it before, but I stop a lot and go, damn, like, my mom is an amazing mom. Like, I don't know how she did this, sometimes on her own. And with two young kids, being a young mother yourself, and I just want to thank you for being the best role model for me and as a mother. And as much as, obviously, I love you as a mom, watching you be Lola to my girls has just been that much more amazing. Um, I love watching you and dad be grandparents. It's it's such a special feeling and I'm so glad that um you guys are such a big part of their life um and I think we're all just way better for it so I love you mom love you too we're so grateful that we are close also and be able to spend time with them you know compared when when you and your brother were growing up and so Mm -hmm. yeah thank you yep yeah. Yay. Thank you love for being you. close to each other. My mom's over there like, thanks for running away, <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hey, with all like with all of that aside, I've done the majority of my growing up in a year, but <laughs> that that was a personal thing. But that I mean, you saying that part about them and I and I love, you know, when I heard Lola years ago hearing you say that and my mom being called Lala just (laughs) because that was what she called her and then it just kind of came back in return and it was so cute that is so cool I love it so much (laughs) so cute so cute all right well that is it like that's all we had we just we needed you guys on here um I loved every second of it Even if I cry like a little baby for a minute, it's okay. (laughs) People are used to that by now. Emotions are good, you know. know. Yes. Expressing them. Yeah. Yes. It's good to feel. It's just hard to read. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I had to That's why we write everything down. (laughs) Um, But yeah, thank you guys for coming on and doing this. I I loved it. I know that a lot of people are going to just enjoy hearing this and... um, I'm probably going to listen to it a few times because I just want to hear what you guys have to say again. <laughs> Heck yes. <laughs> well, wait. thank you for having us. Uh, yeah. This is this is great. Uh, I enjoyed it a, a lot. And Terry, it's so nice to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. Yeah, I know. It's like, oh, it's been a while. I, I mean, I remember when, yeah, I remember when we first met you and, and your husband. I think it was over at that brewery in Lancaster, right? I think when. Really? Yeah, I remember. Is it that they, long? 
or late? I was it or was it before? Oh my gosh, I don't remember. I don't honestly dis- don't know. My my older age is a disclaimer, but uh, <laughs> but I uh, yeah, it, it was. Wait, it's was always. It, well, was it there at the at the one on Lancaster Boulevard? Yeah, Kinetic. Yeah, Kinetic. Yeah. Okay. Y- yeah, and uh, what's nice is, you know, it's always nice to see the parents of, you know, your kids' best friends, and and it's, yeah, it's, so that was, that's nice. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. and then I, I remember, I don't think I met your older, oldest brother, um, Rachel, but I remember your um, younger brother, um, I think. One time that we uh, we stopped by and dropped off the um, the keyboard to uh, you know Heather's keyboard, yeah. and then yeah. of course what I remember too was Heather's um, wedding. Uh, you know everybody All was there, yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah. but Those your brother, he's things. just so funny. <laughs> your really youngest funny. brother is just so <laughs> funny. <laughs> but uh, yes, he sure is. Yeah. <laughs> That was a good wedding. That was a good time. Everybody on the dance floor. Yeah, you know. (laughs) (laughs) They just popped up on my feed, those dancing pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because, yeah, we just had uh, our anniversary. So, cool. Makes sense. Love it. Love it. Well, thank you guys so much. Well, thank you to our mothers and to all the mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day. You all deserve more than a day to be celebrated but definitely on this day and we hope you guys have the most amazing day and until next time you know where to find us um wine underscore time underscore pod for instagram or tiktok you can if you guys have more ideas for episodes fun things like this feel free to hit us up wine time moms at gmail.com um, and you guys, you guys know what's up. So thank you again to our moms and happy Mother's Day. Happy Woo-hoo. Mother's Day. Happy, happy Mother's, Mother's Day, Day to everyone. Love right. you guys. <laughs> okay, okay, love you. Bye. 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 bye.